So he's a young guy. Young guy, that's for sure. Tomlin picking up his third personal. Tomlin going to pick up his fourth. Act surprised, but can't hold him back with your arm. Nope. And then come Brendan Street for Nigel Wallace. We're going to leave Tomlin in with his four fouls. Stubbs connects. I actually wonder what this game would look like with the addition of Trevor, Trevor Andrews, huh? Yeah, that's right. Keep forgetting about that, too. He was recently ruled ineligible. Appeal has been filed. So we'll have to let the appeals process play out on what the SSAC handle that one. Kind of break it down a little bit for the people that's not here. He was a transfer uh, foreign exchange student. And then uh, once he got here, he found a family. They've adopted him. They, our state board ruled him ineligible. Like Tony said, it's in the appeals process. Controversial on Fly State, to say yeah. the least. As Stevie Brownie connects on another one. There's one thing I've found out in my years of following sports. When you start winning a lot of games, you get a lot of people start hating on you. Yep. Washington with the personal charge to Stevie Browning. Drawing the third. I like the message being conveyed by the Raiders coach. You know, hey guys, we can't we can't handle what they do. We can only control what we do. And uh, they got to start getting better looks at the basket. I mean, one guy drive for a look around. I mean, I mean, they play they play for two quarters. John Streeter losing the ball and he pressed in too much from behind. He's going to get his third. Coach, that's saying, please do not get another foul here in this third quarter. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, I'd take him out, you know I mean? 43 seconds. Maybe get a little bit of a big outlet that he's been on the bench since we started. By the way, folks, I'm, uh, I'm assuming that you all can see the scoreboard, so I uh, haven't been given the score updates, but in case you can, it's 50-46. Logan up by four. But again, 43 seconds left here in this third quarter before we tackle tack this fourth and final quarter of that. That's a good strong move by Stubbs underneath. It's only a second made field goal of the game, believe it or not. Even though he's almost still, he's still at 10 points. He had a lot of free throws here tonight. Streeter with the miss. Brendan Street with the with the rebound put back, no good. But Stubbs comes up with the ball. Now Stubbs got four. They got three starters now with four fouls. So we're either going to see a soft Stonewall Jackson team here in the fourth quarter, or we're going to see some fouled out players, I'd say. It's hard to have three of your starters on the shallow rotation, but now they're bringing in some deep off the bench, number 44, Terrell Fry. Yeah, you see the obvious frustration on Stubbs' face. Yeah. 
12.7 seconds left now in this third quarter. Peter's going to draw a foul on Ali, but that's one player that can foul. That's his first. I think he played it up a little bit there. Either way, he's getting to the free throw line. I'm going to shoot two. Acting never hurt. <laughs> the old soccer flop. Actually, that was the second foul on Ali. Stonewall Jackson give it back to Logan with a three-point lead, 8.7 seconds left. Man, the Raiders just shooting herself in the foot, aren't they, Tony? Yeah, here late in the quarter, all they need to do is get the ball inbounds, run the clock out, and go to the fourth. Now you're letting Logan go on a 3-0 run without even getting a smell of your half of the floor. In the last 15 seconds of that, you know, it's not acceptable by a lot of coaches' standards. But it does happen. That's why they play the game. Streeter going to go in, and they're going to get him with the offensive foul. Yeah. And now that's four, and now he's got four. Yeah, you know, if they go call it like that down on the other end, they got to go, they got to do this in the same. 3.3 3 seconds left, and now Streeter has his fourth foul. So, John, like you said, do you pull him out? You said yes, and well, it looks like you would have been the right guy in that uh, situation. Maybe Hatcher listened to me. <laughs> We can slip my note next time. We're close enough. <laughs> Emmanuel Birchie has checked into the game as well as Donnerell Judson. For Stonewalls, the three is up and no good. And we're going to go to the fourth and final quarter of action. Scott up. 51. Logan. Oh, wow. Thinking ahead of the game. I was looking at the colors. <laughs> Logan's up. 51 48. Take two. Tony Johns Foster back on WSportsNet.com right after this. Doesn't matter. Miss it anyway. That's going to be Tomlin's fifth. He knows it. Yeah, it comes back in Joe Street. He's got to be careful. He's got three. 332 left. Logan down by four. With, with Andrews out, when Trevor leaves, they really go all the high. No, you're right. And Joe Street is a great post player for his size, but you're right, you're giving up four or five inches when you put in Joe Street. A Stubbs connects again from the free throw line. He said, black three all over the guy. <laughs> that was the foul call. Very interesting. I heard that one. He's the day he's like, he mugged him. <laughs> and free throws good by Keaton Johnson. Keaton Johnson next on both, making a three-point game with 3.30 to go. Another game coming down to the wire, Tony. Love these early season basketball tournament. Take a shot, 
Stevie Browning with a nice switch over to the left hand and finish. We've made 10 field goals here tonight. Finzel with the take no good. Gets his own miss. Little Washington open baseline. He ain't gonna miss. No, no, no. Why not? He ain't missed the whole second half. 63-60. Logan just can't close this three-point gap as now the clock's at 2.30. Steve Browning with the offensive rebound. It's going to be slapped out of bounds. Stay here with the Wildcats. 2.27 stop time on the clock. Logan down 63-60. Yeah, no real good shot selection by Streeter. And down force one up. Yeah, that was, he hasn't taken many threes all game. Keaton Johnson from three. He can hit that. Bring it up, Keaton. <laughs> That's what I had to say. You can't lay. Finzel with an air, air ball. Rebound no good and put back by Wet. They tried to take it all away with Streeter. Couldn't do anything with it. And here we go the other way. Carried the ball over. Ollie telling his team, calm down, calm down. It has been points tonight where I felt like this, uh, this Raiders team has been rattled. Johnson had a notion. Looked up the streeter and I was going to say, I heard him hit. Uh-oh, that's going to be number one. That's five on Stubbs. Now both Marquise Yates and DeAndre Stubbs are out. Ali has four fouls. Jail Washington has four fouls. Karina Sled has four fouls. Ten, Greg Strowman's got four fouls. No one else got a foul. Yeah. It's, well, somebody's going to have to shoot him. We're in the bonus. Right. Checking back in is Terrell Fry. What a good game Stubbs played tonight. I, I thought he played real, real well. I don't think he was on the scorecard very much for field goal wise, but made a limit the free throw line. He drew a lot of contact and had a lot of fouls. You're right. And it's good. Second one's good as well. One point game. Coach Lawrence is going. Marcus Lawrence going to take a timeout for the Raiders. And 63-62. About 94 seconds left to go in this one. Well, Logan down by one. 63-62. Mm. Nail biter, Tony. Nail biter. We wouldn't have it any other way. As maybe you can see in the far right corner of your screen, that's the Wyoming East. Oh, the Generals, Tony. Wyoming East. Anyway, Wyoming East High School. Way out. I'm looking around now for a shirt. Warriors. Warriors. Wyoming East Warriors. Well played. Thanks, Woody Guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty smart, Tony. Well, uh, well played. Adapt and survive, my man. So adapt and survive. Well played. <laughs> We're still looking for the same shirt you found. Over the left shoulder, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Thanks, Guy. Thanks, Guy. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why we're both looking at him. He's like, who are dudes? Yeah. Why are they staring up here? Is that a hoodie? Poise for another good one here, Tony. Nice minute and a half. This possession here is absolutely crucial for Logan. They got to get a stop. And 
goal for Stonewall Jackson if they get a score. Yeah, uh, yeah, flip, flip. Thanks for keeping me honest. I'm not a homer for Logan. Oh, Joe Street came over and forced the yeah, he had missed shot. He had the right idea, Tony. That was close from him and Ann one. Good body control by number of those. Pretty good. Uh, Corinna Slett. Not a very common last name. Leon Lett. <laughs> That's the only one I know. That's not the last name you want. The fumble whiskey. Everybody Isn't he the that. one that slid into the ball into the end zone? Yeah, I was watching the thing about him on ESPN the other day. He's like a ten-time pro bowler. Yeah, and, and all the people in everybody's money is playing the Dolphins in the Super Bowl. <laughs> First free throw up and good by Wet. And second one, no good. Two-point game. Stevie Brown going to bring the ball four for Logan. Up there for three. It's good. Oh, boy. Steve said, I got this, boys. Oh, Johnny Big Shot for sure. So we all talk about it. So Coach calls a full timeout. Move the Logan faithful. Cheer it on. I wonder how many times he watched the, the two prior guards, all, all state. Paul Williamson, all American Noah Cottrell come down the floor and hit shots like that. He's just waiting for his turn. <laughs> he paid his dues. He, he got some. He got big minutes both them years. He was a starter, I believe, his sophomore year as well. But uh, that junior year last year, he, we really started to see Stevie Browning grow as a player on the floor. And you know, and you couldn't have better got a run under the Paul Williamson, you know. And so we had to take up Phil Emperor's thirty points, twenty something points a game he averaged last year. Stevie's gonna have to be that guy. Huh? And I mean, they brought him to John Streeter, but as you can see here, folks, he's uh, still figuring out the system here. So Stevie's gonna have to be the guy that teach Streeter how things work and be the leader on that team at the same time. 56.5 seconds left. It's crunch time. Logan had a close one last year with another Virginia team at the Coalfield shootout, Rook Point. And he traveled. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he drove the back foot. Just enough to call the obvious traveling violation. Donald Judson and Greg Stroman check in. And Coach Ash wants to take another... Another breather. Make sure his boys are on the same page here. Yeah. 44.7 seconds left on the stop clock. Much you seen out of Stonewall there. That was good coaching as he made a defensive substitution off a of dead ball. Really good to see when coaches are in the game. You know, they're using their bench the most efficient way that they can. Well, Tony, we're settling in. 6, 6, 10 p.m. <laughs> Been giving time updates all day. We and Tony started around 11.30 this evening with their... Yeah. Pre-game coverage, great event. Don't forget, if you're watching this game, check us out 24/7 on www.wvsportsnet.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com.